Hey, what's going on guys? Today we are going to be going through the top 7 best tank top laners in season 12. So if you want to find out who they are, make sure to watch this video all the way through to the end. With that said, enjoy the video guys. The top lane has a unique place in the game. It is where all the individual skills of two players meet in battle and more often than not only one of them will emerge victoriously. Of course the junglers can have a massive impact on the outcome, but the top lane is usually decided before the game has even started, the champion select. To find our top 7 champions that will surely give you the upper hand, I'll define 3 categories that will help us understand them better. And they are sustain, lane bully potential and late game. These have, in my experience as a top lane main, proven essential to win in the game, so without further complications, let's begin with our list. On number 7 we have Orn. Orn is a special one. He's slow and immobile, but makes up for it with good ranged spells and long lasting CC, which can send an entire team up in the air. With the right items, Orn can even dish out high DPS with his W and passive, allowing for a satisfying bash that usually chunks the enemy heavily. As for sustain, Orn can last in the lane for quite a while, perhaps even the longest of all on the list. His passive allows him to purchase items from across the map, making recalls just a matter of refilling your HP and mana. If you go for good sustain items early on, you'll find Orn on the lane almost 24-7 and a jungler interference is a must to prevent him from snowballing into an unstoppable tank. As for lane bully potential, Orn is not exactly the biggest lane bully. He can combine spells in his kit to dish out good damage if his passive is applied correctly. It does damage based on percentage of max HP, making him great against healthy enemies such as Cho'Gath. Mana tends to run out fast if you spam too much, so be careful. As for the late game, if you don't get obliterated in the early game, Orn is a killing machine like no other in the late game. He can take everything you throw at him, especially AD rather than AP. He tends to scale better with armor than magic resist. This makes your ADC near obsolete, which is a real game changer. On our number 6 spot we have Yorick. The grave digging, ghoul throwing, shovel wielding priest is a terror to meet on the lane. He can be a real nuisance with great heals, great damage and solid CC and will have you pinging assists at your jungler for the whole game. As for sustain, his Q heals him a lot. If he manages to purchase heal amplifying items without outside help, he will out level you eventually as he doesn't have to go back to base as often. Even if he does, he can leave his maiden to do his job for him. As his lane bully potential, Yorick is not that great of a fighter himself, but utilizing his W and E to trap you in the ring with his ghouls, they can do significant DPS to you, likely even killing you if you don't have a way to escape or dispel this vicious combo. For the late game, his ghouls wear off as the game progresses and can only do any actual harm to squishy immobile targets. Where he shines though is split pushing. Using his maidens and ghouls along with teleport and demolish, he can push two lanes at once, making him a nuisance to defend against and very fun to play as. On our fifth spot we have Mordekaiser. After his rework, Mordekaiser became a foe to be feared. High damage, good shields and heals, a strong 1v1, he has it all to be on this list, and I just had to include him in the top 5. His W passively charges up a shield when he takes damage. He can cast it to activate the set shield and reactivate to heal himself for the amount. This allows him to tank up damage easily early on and makes him even harder to kill later down the line has the lane bully potential. His passive is super strong and deals enormous magic damage that is only made more potent with a good E and Q combo. At level 6, no matter if your jungler comes to save you, he can pull you into his realm and beat you to a pulp. 
he even steals your stats for a limited duration. Now for the late game. He is a great initiator who can utilize his ultimate to isolate the most critical targets in the late game. If the laning phase was good, he could quickly kill the ADC without much effort. If your bot lane was actually good and not out of field. And these are, these are the reasons he is so popular in Brazil. On number 4 we have Kled. Kled is annoying, to put it lightly. Whether it be his low CD hooks or his character entirely, he can dominate the lane in many ways. His DPS is strong, his health even stronger, making him one of the best top lane picks in general, even outside the tank category. For sustain, Kled's passive makes it so you, can, so you have to kill him twice. This alone would put him on this list. However, the speed at which he recovers from his grounded state is insane, as it only takes a combo or two of his passive attacks to bring him up again. Kled, therefore, has one of the larger health pools of all champions, making 1v1s seem impossible. As for his lane bully potential, a good Kled player who knows how to use his kit can quickly slam the enemy laner. His Q and its CC can keep you close enough to be pulverized by his W and even if you do manage to distance yourself a bit, he can just E into you twice. His ult is infamous for closing the most significant gaps in mere seconds. For the late game, later on he becomes a classic initiator, using his ultimate to propel his entire team into a teamfight, with him leading the charge. His damage drops off slightly, but it's fine as he makes it up with effective CC. On our number 3 spot we have Garen. There is a reason everyone hates the older champions, they're just so simple. One would think that the simplicity would be a detriment, but in League everything is the opposite of the way it should be. Garen can destroy enemy champions with his silence, lethal damage, speed and of course ultimate which makes him a dreaded enemy to face. In the sustain category, Garen pa Garen's passive heals him as if it were Warmogs. That is until he builds Warmogs and heals from 1 to 100 in a blink. He can stay in lane seemingly forever, making Executioner's Calling a must-have item, which will set you back 800 gold while he tanks up even more, which will probably make the item obsolete anyway. As for the lane bully category, he can fight, and I mean it. He is not as good as other on this list, but with a long silence and a fast spinning E, he can put out unexpected damage. His ult is a good finisher that everyone loves to hate. For the late game, a very basic tank. He performs the role very basically, tanking and initiating as much as possible. He uses his ult to quickly kill essential roles such as the ADC or mid APC. On number 2 we have Jax, yet another simple champion from a bygone era. Jax is the best duelist in the game. With a basic yet comprehensive kit, he can stun, bash, jab and clap your head with his lamp all day long. Just imagine if he had a real weapon. On the sustain, he doesn't have much sustain on the go, but cheap items can change that immediately. Although his ability to square up is enough sustaining on itself, I recommend not going for much lifesteal and instead focusing on getting your defenses, HP and attack speed up, which will more or less make you immortal. As, his, as for his lane bully potential, he can fight you good pre-level 6, but after he gets the ultimate passive on his third attack, he can use it to strike at a minion twice, jump on your head and bonk you with a W passive combo for insane hybrid DPS. He's a limited bully, but a good one nonetheless. As for the late game, he can snowball a lot and end up carrying the game with ease and very often. With the proper item utilization, his defenses and attacks are too great to be matched by most champions in the game and will make for an easy sweep and probably a 20 minute surrender of the enemy team. And finally for our number 1 spot we have Tarius, the best dunker in all of Noxus, is our champion for today. 
Sustain, got it. Damage, plenty. Late game, oh boy. Darius is the king of the top lane and here's why. For sustain, he can heal all day long with his Q, which doesn't use too much mana. Even if he does start running out, last hitting minions with his W can replenish it, though not by too much. This allows him to stay in lane for quite long and if he picks teleport, he can be right back in a split second. For his lane bully potential, he is the lane bully of League of Legends. There is not a single champion that can dish out so much DPS at low levels like Darius. His bleed is annoying. His E is incredible for CC and percentage armor penetration. And his W is a nightmare. To top it all off, he can dunk you and on you all day and night. And probably your friends too. For the late game, Darius grows as the game goes on. He does lose a little bit of that bullying ability. But fear not, once you've isolated your target and get a 5 stack on your enemy, the entire opposing side is in danger of being slam dunked. And pentakills are the usual occurrence when Darius steps into the game. And there you go guys, these are our top 7 best tank top laners. Do you think someone else should have been on this list? If so, let us know in the comments down below. Catch you next time, peace.